What's up guys, Garrett with self.dev. Today we're gonna to go over how to set up some basic API routes with Nest.js. Now this is building on top of the NX Mono repo we set up the other day. If you wanna build this from scratch, I'll have this video linked in the description so you can go build this from scratch. Or if you just wanna clone this repo and be where I'm at right now, I'll have a link to the repo as well. You'll just need to check out the pre-API checkpoint branch and then we'll be in sync. But first, let me take a sip of coffee. What's, what's that? Oh, you like my mug. It says, I just keep Googling stuff and it keeps working, some developer. Yeah, it's available in the self-taught dev merch shop along with this wonderful, nay, glorious self-taught dev logo mug. It might even help you get a new job. Uh, probably probably isn't gonna help you get a new job. It's it, it, Honestly, it's not gonna help you get a new job, but if you have that on your desk while you're coding, it'll be like I'm watching over your shoulder and inspire you to create better code and produce more. So. Go get yours today in the merch shop in the description below. Now let's dig into this apps uh, Wordle API section. We're gonna go into SRC and app, and this is what a basic Nest API looks like. We've got two spec files for tests. We've got a controller, a module, and our service file. The only two files we're really gonna be concerned with today are the controller and the service. By default, you have a get data. Um, this is basically just gonna be Let's say we've, we've run our application. We would need to hit uh, localhost 3001 slash API, and then it would get this get data function, which just returns the message, hello API. So with that said, let's go ahead and open up our NX console and run the Wordle API serve development. That'll give us a hot reloading build. And we're also gonna be using Postman. So if you don't have Postman, I'll have a link to that in the description. You can go download it, it's free. And we can just use this to make API requests to the back end without actually having our front end set up. So this is the route we wanna hit. We'll just copy this, throw this in Postman. We're making a Git request, as you can see here. We'll hit send, and then this is just gonna make that API request we talked about and send back the message, hello, API. Now let's, the APIs we're gonna to create today, we're gonna to make one that gets a five letter word from a list of words as Wordle would. And then we'll make another where the user can log in. Um, it's not gonna be a great login thing since we're not connected to a database. We are gonna be hard coding a lot of this, um, but it should give you an idea of how to create uh, get and post requests with Nest.js. So let's go to our service here. Now we're gonna make a list of five letter words. So we'll say cons list, and we'll just make a list of five letter words. What five is one, let's just put three here. Um, gives, codes, and commit. Cool, some code related words. Um, but yeah, they're all, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. I guess we'll misspell commit. And then we've got four or five letter words that we could randomly choose from. To get our random word, we'll do const random word. And then we're going to access our array. We're going to say math.floor, um, math.random times the length or uh, times list dot length. And then this should get a random word for us every time we hit that. And then we're just going to return the random word instead of what it had before. Let's change this to word just to be a little more specific there. And then we should be good. Actually, let's go ahead and change this to get word as well. And then get data will be get word. And then this is accessing this dot service app service. So our app service file. And then we need to rename that function we're accessing in there. Cool. So now let's go back to Postman. This is rebuilt. We'll make our same request. And we see we've got the word fives, commit, fives, commit, commit, codes, codes. Cool. So we're getting random words. Uh, the variety is not that large because there's only four, but you get the idea. You could add more words to this and increase the variety. Uh, let's actually also go ahead and adjust this. So we're hitting the get dash word route and 
as well instead of just nothing. And then in our postman, we'd need to do slash get dash word. We're not actually going to save that. Uh, we'll click send get dash word, get dash word. We saved that right. Uh, slash API slash get dash word. This is get. There we go. Cool. Must not have recompiled yet, but that's how we get our basic get request set up. Now, how would we set up a post request? Let's say we wanted to just log in the user. We'll say at post. We will need to import post from the nest.js common here. And then we'll name this route slash login. And then our function will be login. And we're going to return this.appservice.login and invoke the function. We'll go back to our app.service and then we'll close this for now because we don't need that. We're gonna make a new function called login. And this is just going to return a Boolean that is whether the user's username and password are correct or not. Uh, we're going to return authenticated. And then of course we're gonna to need to make a variable, let authenticated equal false. We are gonna hard code the username and password. As I said, we're not connected to a database and just for the sake of showing you how to do this, uh, we'll just say const username is going to be test and const password is going to be password one, two, three. And then we'll need to check if user, we need to pass in the data actually. So let's go back here and in our login function, this is going to get at body. That needs to be invoked. Do we need to import that? We do. And then we'll just console log body just to make sure we're getting the correct data here first. And then we'll also pass that or sorry, we'll leave that for now. And then we're not actually gonna pass anything to log in. Let's just go ahead and make our post request and make sure that part works. So we'll open a new tab here. We'll change this to post. We still wanna hit almost the same route. We're just gonna change get word to log in. And then we're also gonna go into our body here and we're gonna change this to raw JSON. And then in here, we're going to have the username which will be test that needs to be surrounded as well. And then we'll have a password, which is going to be password one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, rather. Cool. That looks right. Let's make our request connection refused. Did you recompile? It looks like something failed. So we're going to restart our API. We'll just make this const so that error is gone for now. And then back in our NX console, we'll run develop again. Cool. Everything's compiled. We'll go back to Postman. Send that request again. And then we get false. And then if we go look here, we can see that we are console logging from our controller. The body, we get the username and the password. So in here, we're actually going to just destructure that and pass in um, body dot username and body dot password and then in our app service this needs to expect a string or um sorry body or no wait what is it username which is a string and password which is also a string We'll say these just so we don't have the same name. We'll add DB to the end of those because usually you would be pulling this or checking this with data in your database. We're not going to do that. Again, because we're not connected to a database. Then we need to do if um, username equals username db and password equal 
password db return true else actually we wouldn't have had an else we'll return false here and i guess we don't actually need this authenticated variable now that i'm thinking about that Got that opening curly brace there. We'll just get rid of that. Cool. So if the username and password the user tried to tries to send with the API request matches what we have hard coded here or matches what's in our database, then we will return true, letting the front end know that the user is authenticated. Else we would return false, meaning the username or password are incorrect. So let's go back to Postman here. And then if we send this request, we get true because our username and password match. Let's go ahead and adjust the password to some random stuff. And then if we send that, we see we get false because the password is not correct. So we have just successfully set up the get request to get the word and then a post request, uh, albeit not a great one, uh, to log the user in. But I just wanted to give you an idea of how to set up some, uh, some basic API routes in nest.js if you have any questions let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this give me a thumbs up to you so youtube knows i'm doing good stuff um, and if you want me to continue doing nest.js tutorials or nx tutorials let me know i'm happy to keep doing those i'm kind of just jumping around to random topics i'm interested in right now or have worked with for content again the self.dev merch store is in the description if you want to help support the channel that would be much appreciated uh, if you want to come hang out in Discord or the self.dev subreddit, links to both of those are in the description as well. And I think that's about it for this one. So I will catch you guys later. Peace. One.